I truly believe that a creative life is a happy life. And in these videos, I want to inspire you to become creative. Let's get something down on the paper. Let's just enjoy and let's think creatively. Let's gain some inspiration. It's just wonderful to be creative, it really is. And I want you to feel that and express that and enjoy a creative life. So let's begin. So let's boost our creativity and begin. You don't need anything fancy to begin with. Get yourself some papers and some pens. The papers can all be recycled as I showed you there. A variety of colours and textures for both would be really good. So first of all we're just going to loosen up and we're going to make some pattern papers. I find to loosen up a nice circle is always good. Use your whole arm and try and make some circles. It really doesn't matter if they don't meet up. Just make some circles, overlap them and really loosen up. Do you see when we use just the wrist we get a really neat little pattern but it's nice to really loosen up and if you have some paint and a paintbrush that works really lovely with this as well and you get a really lovely patterned paper. Experiment and loosen up and do lots of different strokes and move your arm in a different way. You can create a whole sheet of all the different textures. I'm just showing you the different pattern papers we can create and then in a few moments we're going to take all these pattern papers and create something really quite beautiful with them. If you do have some paint brushes and some paint on hand, absolutely any paint brushes and paint that you have, it's wonderful to just try and experiment and get some tools and just make some marks with, with the paint and you can get lots of different pattern papers. With these ones today I've chosen a nice green theme and so I'm doing lots of different greens on different coloured papers and just trying to create lots of different textures. So even if you don't have any craft paper, I'm sure you have some line paper like this and even then you can make lots of different textures because of those lines and just experiment and have a play. A video on boosting creativity obviously needs some paint splashing so really go to town and get that paintbrush and bang it against another paintbrush and create some lovely textures. And then this is simply just pen tops dipped in some paint and you can get some really gorgeous textures this way. Here I've thinned down some paint with some water and I'm simply blowing it about the paper with a straw. It's really great fun and you can create some really lovely artwork using this and you can layer up your techniques too. Here I have a plastic fork and I'm simply just scraping the paint and making some more textures. So as you can see, with no skill needed, we can create lots of pattern, lots of texture, and we can then put these together later and produce something really quite lovely. If you prefer to be a bit neater, then of course you can create patterns in this way too. So relax and enjoy, and you can create full pages of all these different textures. The possibilities are always endless, so loosen up and boost your creativity by just getting some marks on the paper, throw the paint about a bit and really lose yourself and enjoy. And once you've created some textures, you can layer again over the top and add more texture, more colour and more variation. It's just wonderful that you don't need to be able to actually draw to be able to be creative and you can just make some marks and really enjoy the process of creating art and being creative. I've let all these dry and now I'm going to create some beautiful artwork. Hopefully you feel you can do the same and that you can frame them and put them up in your home. You can search on the internet for an image you'd like to recreate, but I wanted to do a little hummingbird, so I've drawn that out, but you don't need to be able to draw. You can just, as I say, find an image that you'd like to try and copy. And so I'm doing a hummingbird, and then I'm simply drawing out into the shapes that I could cut the shapes out, and then I trace my shapes onto the different pattern papers, and then cut them out. 
and then I've put them together and glued them together with any craft glue and then I've put them in a little frame like this. And so you can build up any image and create something really quite beautiful with your pattern papers. It could be really something quite simple and it can become really quite effective when it's simple too. Moving on to another way to boost our creativity, nature. Nature is such a good place to start as there's just so much inspiration all around us. Even if you live in the city too, you can find so much inspiration. Take a sketchbook out with you and sketch absolutely anything. All kinds of shapes, patterns and textures. Try to sketch with different thicknesses of pens and pencils and draw things small and draw things big for good contrast. I absolutely love to sketch and anything at all, so just look around you and see what you enjoy sketching. Even if you feel you can't draw what you see, you can take a pencil and you can draw shapes. Put a selection of those lines and shapes together and then you come up with a pattern and it doesn't have to resemble anything but it can become a pattern. Here are some of the sketches I've done and so I'm simply just taking inspiration from those sketches and then going into my sketch pad again and putting down some more pattern and texture. Lose any fear you have for creating artwork and everything you put down on paper is completely unique and it's what makes your piece of art unique. And with art, nothing is wrong. Nothing is ever wrong. It's always what you want it to be and how you want to express the creativity you're feeling at the time. From my sketches here, I'm just taking all my favourite little elements and I'm putting them together on one sheet using different line thicknesses and just creating a lovely pleasing pattern that I'm really enjoying. We can then use this pattern and texture in many different ways and create some really quite beautiful items. At the moment I'm not thinking about colour, I've just added all my shapes and I can think about colour in a moment. With this pattern that I've created I'm just going to do a few little small projects, the first one being a little greetings card. So I'm drawing a square on the front of my greetings card in my pencil, I've drawn out loosely all of the design that I want and with the composition I'm making sure I've got the big items spread about and then the nice finer details dotted about in between and then I've just gone in with my edding pens and I've simply just coloured them in and we've left with a really beautiful card. I love this pattern and I have a beautiful bag here from 17 London and I wanted to transfer this pattern also onto my backpack so I'm going to do that with a series of pens and I'm going to experiment with them and see which ones work best. So I've got some textiles pens and some acrylic paint and acrylic pens and I'm going to have some creative fun on this backpack. I've added something into the pocket here so I've got a nice flat surface to work on and I'm first going to transfer this bold design onto the front pocket here using one of these edding textile markers. I've first of all gone in and drawn lightly on the bag with a pencil and I'm just going over these lines with my textile marker. These ones you need to heat set so I'm going to see how I go and use a hairdryer to heat those. This Edding Fantastic marker has gone on really bold and I'm really quite happy with how that works. And now I'm going in with the Edding Finer Pen, I'll link all of these in the description below and I'm simply going to draw on this nice foliage and this works really lovely on here too. I think that could be one of my favourites. Nice fine detail with a nice fine tip pen and these ones as well are heat set so we need to set them with some heat. I'm now experimenting with some acrylic markers and these go on really well too. With these though you just have to go over them two or three times to make sure you get that full full paint effect there. 
Now don't make the mistake that I made here, I didn't heat set these before I moved on. So I'm just going to see if I can remove the ink before I heat set it. So make sure you heat set each section as you go. And this is quite good, it will dry that acrylic paint really well as well. So this idea of personalising a backpack will work really well if you have a design that you really would love to put on your backpack. Next I'm trying some white acrylic paint with a paintbrush. I have a really fine paintbrush here and again I've drawn on in light pencil and I'm painting on. It's actually quite tricky with the paintbrush. These bags have got a really good coating on and they're waterproof. So they're a really robust bag, but it's quite tricky to paint on with the paintbrush. I do actually prefer the acrylic paint markers, these. They're just so much easier to work on as you've got quite a hard nib to work with. These Edding textile markers come in lots of great colours and so I'm just going to experiment and add a few more details. So I'm going off the pattern that we created earlier and just really enjoying myself adding all the different elements onto this section of the backpack. And I absolutely love how it's looking so far and I can't wait to do all the other different bits on the backpack too. I probably won't cover it all but I'm going to do some more different sections and it's really starting to come to life and I absolutely love it. So I've gone through and put lots more of my design on, I've let it all dry really fully and then heat set with the hairdryer and now to test it we need to make sure that all of that ink and that colour is fast and permanent on our bag. So I'm just going to test that here with a little bit of water and see. And thankfully it's all stood up really well and I enjoyed using the textile markers and the acrylic markers too. They both worked really, really well and I'm really happy with the project and I love all the different bits of projects that we've done along the way in this and I hope you'll have a go at some of them and really boost your creativity. Get some pattern, texture, marks and just enjoy being creative. Try to do at least one creative thing every day. Pick up a sketch pad and sketch something. Do a little doodle, play with some colours. Do one of these pattern papers or create a pattern. With time the creativity will really just start to flow. So enjoy and I hope you come back to see some more of my creative videos. Thank you for watching, bye for now.